and Polygon and all the others, not a lot. And maybe just the subsidies. And like we saw with Anchor, you know, those subsidies just, you know, if you don't earn the money, like we saw with Axie, and I'm an investor in Axie, you know, and I told him, unless you're able to create enough of an economy that you're able to create productivity, meaning you have enough users that you can sell ads and sponsorships and NFTs and earn income from all those things in order to buy the, um, the um, SLPs and, and the, the tokens, the Axie tokens from users, meaning, you know, it, it's earned to buy them, then you're going to run into problems. And so we went from play to earn being this great thing and, you know, and helping people in the Philippines to, okay, it's barely hanging on and no new play to earn at, um, platforms have succeeded that I know of. Do you guys know of any that have worked? Not yet. Axie's been it, man. Yeah. And, and Axie's got that. If Axie would have gone in and they still can do it and I hope they do. And even though I'm an investor, I, I don't really have that kind of connection with them just to tell them what to do. But, you know, if they're out there selling ads and sponsors, sponsorships, and then taking that money and buying tokens from, you know, the people who are playing to earn so that there's some, you know, there's a replenished economy that works. So this was like the um, feedback from Mark Cobain. He's actually telling that, uh, yeah, um, the, the tokenomics are not really working out. And he was actually like criticizing X Infinity uh, that they didn't buy back the SLP. And yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good point. Uh, now afterwards, uh, it, there was like a lot of discussion going on. I remember in X-Infinity if they should buy back the tokens or not, the SLP, and they decided not to do it. In, in the end, probably it was the wrong decision. So uh, it was they, they knew that this economy, economy was not sustainable, so they had actually to buy back the tokens properly that would have sustained the value, but they also get, got hacked. And in another interview, actually, he was saying that uh, it is uh, that they messed it up. They was we were also getting got hacked at, uh, with the six hundred six hundred million dollar hack. But still, I mean, probably it was like the wrong decision. What went what went wrong? Was it only like not buying the tokens? I think they were also a little bit. Uh, I mean, they tried to get get like the feedback from the community, but it didn't didn't went through because I think. Yeah, buying back tokens was on the list. I remember, like, to what actions they should take, uh, but they they didn't didn't do it. And in the end, probably this was a mistake because the token went down, the NFTs went down, XS went down, everything went down. I mean, you can you can blame the crypto bear market for it, but I think it is also like related to to the to the actions or not actions which were ta not taken or taken by Sky Mavis as well. So you cannot only say, yeah, we are in the bear market and that's why the why X Infinity went down. I think there were also done a lot of mistakes. As of now, like uh, publicly uh, like stated by Marco Bain, which is actually an investor. He's like the guy who is uh, supporting X Infinity. So if you get like uh, critics from this guy, you should take it seriously. I mean, this is another point in X Infinity and this guy Mavis team I have seen in the past. They don't take critics uh, seriously enough, in my opinion. This is like also like the same where you have like after bright follows the fall. So if you don't listen to your community, if you don't listen to the critics, just ignore them completely. Then you're probably uh, yeah doing the the wrong decisions or just getting blinded by the, your success and like that the price always will go up and things like this and not preparing for like a downfall which in crypto is volatile, you, sh you, should, you should be aware of this actually. And also like preparing to get hacked as well. I cannot, I mean, Mark Bain was saying that it's not their fault that they got hacked. But I think if you get hacked, there is at least a small portion, which is also uh, your, your mistake that somebody else could take advantage of it. So I think there as well, there's, there, there, this, this is like early stage and there was done a lot of mistakes. So Hopefully, the, uh, Sky Mavis learn from their mistakes and with Origin and so on, things will get better from here. And Marco Ben also uh, saying what, what actually could work. I mean, they had, they made like a lot of money, like with X-Infinity. There was so much revenue coming in into the 
community treasury and so on so you you had the op opportunity to buy back tokens uh i don't know if they will change this in the future to get also sponsorships what he's saying like getting it advertisement into the into the eco ecosystem in that way like um funding back like 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 buying back the tokens but not sure how this will work out because there is a scratch on the reputation obviously at sky Magus and x infinity yeah. so people are uh, not trusting trusting the team anymore as they w would have done last year so that's my sum up here so it's a, quite interesting to see from mark cobain like that he takes like standpoint uh, in, in this corner thanks a lot for watching if you want more content like this subscribe to the channel give me some if you like the video and see you in the next one and also if you want to watch the full interview i leave it in the description thanks a lot for watching see you next one bye bye